Well, greetings, friends and fiends. Um, it's going to be an interesting one today because, uh, well, uh, somebody, I don't know who, sent me this, a brick. Ugh. A brick of giants, specifically the icons of the realms. Bigby presents Glory of the Giants. Uh, I'm going to put this down and oh, open it up. I'll be right back. Uh, hit it! Okay, friends and fiends, we're going to get into opening our individual booster boxes. Now, a brick is made up of eight boxes, eight boosters. And as to be expected, the boosters for Bigby Presents, the glory of the giants, are bigger than what your normal booster would look like. Each box comes with one huge, friggin' huge, figure, as well as three smaller ones, be them uh, medium or... Me I, I believe they're all medium, actually. Now, there are degrees of obtaining them. There are commons, uncommons, and rares. Uh, well, first off, a more important point of disclosure, and that is that this is not, I repeat, not a pay promotion. I have received no compensation in any way, shape, or form from WizKids directly. Uh, neither financially nor in provided product. Uh, this was sent through my Amazon wish list. So unless companies are now sending out wish list fulfillments, I, 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 can, I think I can say with a pretty clear conscience this is not a paid promotion. Just to emphasize, it's right there in black and white. Clear as crystal. So here's the other disclaimer. I had spent roughly an hour... <laughs> Opening each booster box with my various reactions to them. And then I went to look and see how long I've been recording. And apparently I never hit the record button. So, what I did was, I now I had the foresight to put all of the minis back in the boxes that I pulled them out from. Minus the plastic trappings, the, the trays that they all come in. So what I did was I closed them all up scramble them up and so this way I don't know what order I'll open them up what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open them up anyway I'm gonna open each individual box and take the figures out and show you what was in each box as I open them so it's still some something of an unboxing it's just a little you know once removed so um, all right so let's see what we come out with now the thing is there are uh, 42 figures in this set. Um, each brick only has 32 figures in it. So that means you're not going to get a complete set if you go and purchase a brick. Now, bricks are available for $199.92 USD. That's the manufacturer's suggested retail price. You can pick them up at your local game store. You can pick them up at on Amazon as well, or order them directly from WizKids. The booster packs themselves, the individual boosters, well, they run um, MSRP of $24.99 USD. So, yeah, so you can go ahead and pick some of them up, and I'll tell you right now, these are some really nice figures. Now, I don't use figures myself, but I've been wanting to do reviews of them. And some of them just will look nice on my shelf, I'll tell you that right now. Um, now, let's see here. We're going to start out with this one. Actually, I think this was the first one that I opened up. Because the huge, and it's huge, is the Stone Giant of Evil Earth. So, these are very cool figures. Now, I'm going to be putting each of them on their own individual close-up on the turntable, uh, which you should be seeing materializing someplace around here. Over here? Over here? Not sure. But, uh, so anyway, so let's, um, let's see what else we have here. We have a shrubbery! No, this is actually a Shrieker, and Shriekers go back all the way to first edition. Actually, it might even be in the basic. I'm not 100% sure on that, but they've been around for quite a while. Next up we have... We have... Well, it says Giant, but I think it's Wee. It's a Wee Badger. <laughs> Although, when you stand it up to our next figure, which is a Mighty Orc. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. 
and it simply says orc. So that this would make a great PC figure for those who play orcs. Now, when you hold the two of them up together, you can see that yeah, it's bigger than your 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 average badger. All right, so we'll we shall put them back in their package. Now the thing is, again, be it that you're only getting eight, because there are actually 12 huge figures in the set. So there are eight of them that are gathered in this one brick. So you're never going to get a complete set. There's only 32 figures per brick. So you're always going to be short. So you'll either have to go to your local game store to buy individual pieces to fill in, or get a factory set if they release it, or a uh, or a bunch of bricks and take a shot. So let's see who's in this one. Box number two. Oh, box number two is actually the one that I opened last last time. And the first one out of here are huge. In this one is actually the Fire Hellion. And um, this is a giant that is made a pact with a devil. Uh, for for more power, and as as a result, he was granted ho horns and cloven hooves and a tail as a sign of that contract. And it's a beautiful figure. Now the thing is, he does come in two pieces because the arm actually come comes in a separate little bag of its own to to put in. So this way, there's less chance of it breaking off. So that was a very good idea for them to do that. So we'll put his arm back on there. This way he won't be short-handed. And also in here we have a, a rather fierce-looking orc. Now this would be good for a PC orc barbarian. And we also have a Sky Tower Goliath. Now in Bigby's uh, Glory of the Giants, uh, they updated the Goliath slightly too, that you can have different... Uh, um, strains of giant blood in the Goliaths. So I believe this is actually a cloud giant offshoot Goliath. And then in, and also in this one we have a, a rather tipsy looking uh, elf druid of the circle of the primeval, which I believe is one of the new subclasses that they have opened up in Glory of the Giants. Now this is an uncommon figure, the Sky Tower Goliath is actually a common figure, and our Orc is also a common figure. Next up, box number three. Oh, this is a very cool one. All right, so our, our huge for this box is very cool. This is the Stone Giant Rock Speaker. Well, you see, all the giants got a spellcaster listed in Glory of the Giants. The Rock Speaker, I believe he might be a druid. Now there's also, of course, the Death Giant Necromancer, which is a separate figure unto itself, which you can see my review for up there. There should be a link up there, if that's the right direction. I'm still getting used to this. So, we have our rock speaker. Let's see who we have. Oh, we have another shrubbery! Now I can make, now I can put the two of them next to each other and make a little path between them. So we have another, another shrieker. Uh, then we have a Goliath monk. Very cool. A, uh, a female Goliath monk, no less. Always good to see representation. And we have, all right, squeamish people might want to look away. We have a giant tick. <laughs> and that's a giant tick when you consider even standing next to the Goliath. That's a pretty big bug. All right, so the uh, now the giant tick is actually the is listed as number 1 out of the 42. So it's one of the common ones. Okay, and out of box number 4 halfway through, we have first up our huge which is a fire gaunt. Now I believe this is an undead. I have I haven't really looked through Big B's book yet. You know, this one right here. Now again, I am not being 
I am not being compensated in any way for promoting anything. This is not a paid promotion, as I hold a D&D book. Yes, I know. But anyway, this is from whence all these figures came. So I shall have to read up on, on, on these, and, and perhaps if I get a full set, I'll do more detailed information on each particular figure. But I believe each of the giants also got an, an undead represent, and this would be for the fire for the fire giant. This would be an uncommon. All of the huges are uncommon except for the four rares. Also in this box we have another giant tick. We have a dinosaur, and that would be a Dinonychus. So this would this is of the raptor family. And we have the man himself, Big B, who's rather wee here. Well, that's because he got reincarnated as a gnome. And you can see that he's, he has a, um, one of his magical hands holding up his, his spell book um, that he's writing in. Uh, Big B, of course, is the namesake for all of those hand spells, Big B's forceful Hand, Big B's interposing hand, Big B's punching fist, and whatnot. Box number five. And in box number five we have... Well, this is a very cool one. This is the Spectral Cloud. This is such a cool figure. This is metal, okay? <laughs> this would be the undead for the Cloud Giants. But uh, this is this is just such a cool figure. This this goes on the shelf. This doesn't get played with. This goes on the shelf. All right. And we also have a ah, we have a bugbear. This and it would seem to be a female bugbear at that. And then this box also had more repeats because I have a third shrubbery. So we have another Shrieker, and we have our second Dinonychus. So we have a pair of Dinonychi. Now we have box number six. Oh boy. This was actually, I think, this actually was the first box that I opened. This is the Maw of Yanagyu. You know, Yanagyu, the demon lord of gnolls, who obviously put his mark on a giant. This thing is all mouth and eating the landscape as they go through. And this is a huge, this is an uncommon. But it's particularly nasty. You put that out on your, on your table, your players are going to poop their pants. <laughs> so then also in here we have, oh, we have an Ettercap, which is an arachnid person, I believe. And we have the Orog. That would be that would be suitable as a player character for for an orc as well, and then our final one in here. I don't think you'll be able to see the whole thing. You'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see it better on the turntable over here, uh, because this is the bag jelly. Maybe if I do this, no, nope. it doesn't work because this is just green enough to catch the green screen. I can't do anything about it, unfortunately. So this is bag jelly. This is what ha you get when you uh, when a giant leaves food or rotting corpses in their pouches. They just happen to get a little friend coming along for the ride, which uh, can be a sticky situation for a uh, for player characters that are rifling the bodies. All right, our penultimate box, box number seven. Oh, this is another nice one. This is another nice one. This is the Frostmorn. Our huge for this box is the Frostmorn. This is the undead frost giant. Is Oh, this is very cool. This is an orc wizard rune crafter. Now, one of the new subclasses is rune crafting, and... Uh, this is a very cool figure. Just the fact that it's an orc. The orc is wearing glasses. And he's casting his protection spell. And I believe there are tiny runes carved into it. And it's very dapper looking. He's got that, uh, that mal kind of vibe from Firefly. 
So I could see Nathan Fillion playing this character very easily. But that would be a that would be a perfectly good PC figure for you too. And that is also a rare. So Bigby was also a rare. So we've gotten uh, one, two. We've gotten three rares so far. We have our Stone Giant Rock Speaker. We have Bigby, and we have our Orc Wizard Runecrafter. In this particular box, we have one of my favorites in this set, and that is the Goliath Chef. Yes, wielding a huge fork over his shoulder. Well, it's a normal-sized fork for a giant. So this is obviously somebody in the employ of a giant, or perhaps somebody that was raised by a giant and took as a souvenir the giant fork. And um, this ha this actually holds a very special place in my heart because in our Salt Marsh campaign, which I'm trying to get started again, which you can find on the Chaotic Tiefling ATL YouTube channel, there will be a link in the description below, where you can watch D&D Surprise Party. Uh, look for Season 1. That's our Salt Marsh set uh, campaign with the Fellfire 5. And the pr one of the proprietors of the Fellfire house um, is a Goliath who happens to have the chef feet. That would be Lug in D&D uh, &D Surprise Party Season 1. So the link in the, is in the description below. And you can go and check out my friends playing in... They, they do such an awesome job with this, with this game. They really do. And our final one in box number seven is a Hobgoblin. And this is a Hobgoblin Archer. Very cool. Very cool. Have to fix the bow a little bit. See, that's the thing, too. You might have noticed this with the Elf Druid, that the, um, their legs were very bent and everything. Well, when you're getting your boxes delivered, and it's in the 80s, even here on Long Island, it's in the, it's in the 80s, between 80 and 90. And if they get delivered and they get left outside for a little bit, you know, things are going to, um, things are going to get warm. But they're, it's very easy to fix. You just run them under some warm water. That'll soften them up. You, and you can, repo, you can repose them, cool them off. And then you should be able to straighten out your bows and your druid very easily. All right, and our final box in our brick, box number eight. This is... The Cloud Giant of Evil Air. So there's a couple in here that are of the evil elements from the, the, from the Temple of Elemental Evil, um, which was re-envisioned by Princes of the Apocalypse. So uh, you the Evil Air, the, the Corrupted Cloud Giant, with a very cool boomerang. Rounding out this particular box is another bugbear. So it's a, that's a nice bug, a nice enough bugbear to use as a, as a player character even, and we have our hobgoblin here, who is very much in a, a Japanese motif with samurai like armor, and we have another Goliath chef. So which I love. So that is our boxes. That is our boosters. All eight in this particular brick. Again, I do not know who sent this, but thank you very much. Um, hey, WizKids, if you're watching by any chance, you know, if you want to send me some stuff, I'll be more than happy to review it. If you want to send me another brick or two of, of Big B's, so this way I might get a full set and do a full-blown review, you know, hit me up. Because, again, friends and fiends, this is not a paid promotion. You'll be able to find these again and in your local gaming shop. You can also find them on Amazon. The booster packs go for $24.99 MSRP, um, as well as the uh, bricks go for $199.92 USD MSRP. And you should be able to find those on Amazon or at your local gaming store as well. So uh, thank you to whoever sent that. Uh, friends and fiends, that will wrap things up for our look at the Brick of Bigby. And um, as always, stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourself, and by all means, take care of each other, most importantly. All right, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.